mods for Minecraft Java Edition on a Mac. That's where I'm going to be showing you how to download and install in this video. We're going to be using Forge for this. Forge is the most popular Minecraft mod loader out there. Another popular one is Fabric. We do have a video on how to get Fabric mods if the mods you want are for that mod loader and yeah that one's also updated for mac as well so both of those are available this one's going to be forge the other one is for fabric mods and both are are good just depends on what your mod platform is that the mods you're using are no matter what though you're going to need this this is java 17 and it might be java 18 in the future it might change depending on if minecraft changes java versions i don't really expect that uh for a while but if it does then this will change and this is how to get it on a mac this is required for Minecraft mods. So you need to download and install Java. If later on in this video you're struggling to open up Forge, it's because you don't have Java installed. So come here and download this. It might also be because you don't have this version of Java installed, right? So you need to you need to get this specific version. It's super easy. I mean, actually, it's so easy. It's a two-minute read to get Java. And we do also have a dedicated video on it. Now, with that being said, once you've got Java, you're good to go. Let's download Forge. However, we do have to keep the lights on here. So first and foremost, have a nice our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own Minecraft server. If you want a modded server with Forge, you can get it at Apex. If you want to start a simple server for you and your friends, you can do that at Apex as well. Even if you want to install mod packs on your server, Apex Minecraft Hosting has you covered with one-click installation of over 200 mod packs. We love just Apex so much that we host all our Minecraft servers on Apex Minecraft Hosting. So if you want to start your own server, look no further other than Apex Minecraft hosting at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Let's go ahead and get Forge installed. So first things first, go to the second link in the description down below. And yes, this is also linked in the description down below. If we go to the description down below, go to Forge here and scroll down and click on the download Forge button. Then you can afford this official download page. Now, on the left hand side, we'll be able to see all the different Minecraft versions. This will work for most of them except some versions down here need a different version of Java. They don't need Java 17, so keep that in mind. But for any versions past 1.17, this will work. So 1.19 here, we're going to go ahead and click on the 1.19.3 version. This could be 1.20 in the future, 1.30. Those will work as well, so keep that in mind. Just select the version you want on the left-hand side. And then come under Download Latest here and click on the Installer button. That then takes off to add focus where stop, put your hands in the air, don't click anything on your Mac whatsoever, just, just wait about 10 seconds. And then after about 10 seconds, click the red skip button that appears in the top right. The red skip button is the only thing that you want to click on this page, and when you do, it will download automatically. You may need to keep or save the file depending on your browser, but Macs are pretty cool and they just kind of usually download stuff if you're using Safari right to your downloads folder. Now, we're going to get mods later, we are going to show you how to get those, but before we do that, let's go ahead and get Forge installed. To do this, you want to go ahead and go to that downloads folder, and then you'll have this, this coffee cup sort of icon, but it'll be a Forge installer. If yours doesn't have this coffee cup icon, you might not have Java, so you need to go grab that. But to open it, double click on it, and then it will give you a warning that it can't verify this developer. That's perfectly normal. So go ahead and click OK. It'll give you an error that it can't be opened. Again, perfectly OK. How do we fix that? Well, we want to go ahead and open up settings, right? Which is system preferences or system settings. I, they, they've got, they changed the name recently. It wasn't, it was used to be system preferences. Now it's system settings. Once you're in here, what you want to do is come to the left-hand side and scroll down to privacy and security. Then you want to go ahead and scroll down here to the very, very bottom. And you'll see this forge and then dot jar here was blocked because it may not it was from an unidentified developer that just means that it's from an indie developer which obviously every minecraft mod out there is developed by an indie developer only do stuff like this and open anyway if you know things are trusted that's why you have us here that's why the breakdown's here that's why we exist so you know you can trust the files that you get from us and through our videos so nevertheless let's go ahead and click on open anyway when you do that you're going to be prompted for your max security code here so go ahead and type that in and then we'll get yet another one Warning. And yes, we want to open it. Now, at this point, if it still doesn't open, that's where you have that Java issue that we mentioned on the front end. So if you still can't open Forge here, go check that out. Go fix that issue by getting Java that we mentioned at the beginning of the video from the description down below. However, if not, you now have the mod system installed for Forge open. All you got to do is click install client here and click OK. Now, the only reason this right here would fail is if one, you've never downloaded the version of Minecraft that you're installing Forge for. What do I mean by that? Well, you need to just go play it. Play that version, Minecraft 1.19.3 in this case, 1.20. Go play the version of Minecraft that you're installing Forge 4 with no mods or anything installed. 
come back and you'll be able to install Forge. It could also have issues if Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher is open, so make sure you close out of both of those and then close out of Forge, open it back up, and then you'll be able to install it. But as you can see, successfully install Client Profile Forge, we're good. We can click OK there. Now, I'm going to go ahead and delete Forge from our desktop because it is successfully installed. And if you do have this Java icon right here, you can right click and click that as well in your dock. But we want to go ahead and open up Safari again and download our mods. We're going to get just enough items first, so go to the description down below. We have just enough items there. We're also going to be installing Journey Map. Those are linked in the description. This will work for any Forge mods for the version of Forge you installed. So in our case, it was 1.19.3. Any Forge mods for that version will work. If you did 1.20, any versions of Forge mods for 1.20 will work. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and scroll down the download just enough items button. And this is Curse Forge's beta. Now, I'm glad we got it here because it's the first time I've got it on my Mac and things are a little different. We still want to come to the right hand side here. We want to scroll down to the Minecraft 1.19 section and then we want to find the JEI 1.19.3 Forge version as you can see right here it is. Now what we want to do is click on this and this will take us to the files page here. Then on the files page, we simply want to click this drop down arrow and click download file. And then after a few seconds, the download will begin right like so. Don't click any other download buttons. After a few seconds, it will begin. You may get a warning like this and that's okay. It's good to click allow. You're good to do that. And finally, it will download here. And we want to repeat this process for journey map. And again, on our website, scroll down, click the download journey map button. Takes us to Curse Forge. Looks like we're on the beta now. Awesome. Come to the right hand side bowl. Scroll down to the 119.3 section. We want to download journey map forge. Sometimes it won't say forge. If it doesn't, it's kind of a luck of the draw. You can always remove mods if they do not work after you've installed them. So keep that in mind. Click on that. And then finally, we want to click on this drop down box here and click download file. When you do this, after a few seconds, you can see it's counting down. It will start the download and Journey Map will be downloaded. So there we go. Boom. And Journey Map downloads right like so. So now we can go ahead and minimize our browser. We've got our mods downloaded. Let's install them. To do this, you want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. And then once we're in the Minecraft launcher, I'm going to show you how to do this a bit differently. You can access your mods folder from in-game but you can also access it from the Minecraft launcher here. So in order to do that, you just wanna to go to installations. Now you should have a Forge installation. If you don't, we'll solve that here in a second. But nevertheless, go ahead and hover over any of these installations, it doesn't matter which one, and click on the folder icon that appears. Then in here, you should have a mods folder. But Nick, I don't have a mods folder. Well, if you don't have a mods folder, guess what? I don't either. Just go ahead and create one. So right click, new folder, and then title it mods. M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that and then open up your newly created mods folder. Finally, to install your mods, just drag and drop them from your downloads folder into your mods folder, right like so. Your mods are now installed. And what's great about doing this is we don't have to restart Minecraft later. When you launch up Minecraft, your mods will be installed. However, I will show you how to access that mods folder in game, just in case that was a little more complicated or just in case you feel more comfortable doing that. Nonetheless though, we should have Forge here. Now for me, it's automatically selected. If it's not for you, you can click this little arrow and select Forge. But Nick, what if Forge isn't here or the version that you want? If it's not 1.19.3, maybe it's 1.20, it's not the correct version. Well, in that case, come up to installations then make sure modded is selected. As you can see, I unselected modded there, Forge disappears, we click modded, it reappears. If you still don't have Forge or the correct version of Forge, click new installation. I'm gonna name this Mac 2023 Mods because that's what this video is about, but you can name it whatever you want. It really doesn't matter. Click the version dropdown box though, and this does matter. You wanna select release 1.19.3-Forge here. Now you may have to scroll down a ways to find this. I've seen it be at the very, very bottom, random places in the middle. Sometimes you have to scroll down on the right-hand sidebar as well. Scroll through here and find this, but for me, it's right at the top. I'm also going to change our resolution. That way you can see once we get in game, or actually, we'll just leave this on auto. That way, once we get in game, I can you know kind of change it however I want, and then we'll click create in the bottom right. Now we have this new Mac 2023 mods with the correct version, 119.3 Forge under it. Go ahead and hover over this, click play, click play on the pop-up that appears. It's just saying, hey, you're playing modded Minecraft. We already know we're doing that. And now Minecraft will open up and our mods will automatically be installed. So we'll see you on the main menu to show you that. So here we are, Minecraft is open. If we click on mods, we'll be able to see journey map and just enough items. Now I did promise you that I would show you how to get to the mods folder in game. Well, to do that, click on mods and then click the open mods folder button in the bottom left. When you do that, your mods folder will open. As you can see, our mods are already in there. That's another alternative way to access it if you don't want to use the version or the method we used earlier. Now let's, let's go ahead and jump into single player. I would always recommend for mods to add a new world because it can break worlds. 
points in the future, updates can be a problem. So make sure you're always playing in a world for those specific mods. So we'll do 2023 Mac mods, and then we'll make it creative because that's always easier to showcase things in. You might get this warning. It's just saying, hey, you're using mods and experimental stuff. Is that okay? And yes, it is. So we want to continue. And now your world's going to generate, right? It's going to generate just like any other Minecraft world, depending on the mods you have. It may be slow. It may be faster. It's also possible, but it's going to take a while. You just kind of have to sit back, relax, and wait. And then once it's open, we can show you journey map. And what was the other one we got? Just enough items are installed. Here we are. Journey map's already up and running. We can see in the top right. We can also press J to open up the journey map menu, as well as the full screen map. And here's a amazing and what i like so much about journey maps you can zoom in and see your world from a top down view there's tons of different settings you can access them on the bottom here and there's waypoints we always want to set a new waypoint for our spawn and i always like to make it yellow i don't know why i just always do click save and there we go so now we know where our spawn point is and was in this world and uh, if we back away we'll be able to see there it is spawn another thing we added was just enough items so if we hit e boom there it is on the right hand side this is just enough items Better showcased in survival as well as with other mods, but this is where you can see all the recipes for stuff right in game. For example, if we want to see how to create a dispenser, we can click on it and get the recipe. Like I said though, this works with mods and that's the big thing. So by working with mods, we can actually be able to see how to get this different stuff from those mods all in game, all using just enough items. Even if a mod changes something and has like a custom sort of recipe, it will show up here. So that's thanks so much for watching. That's how you can get mods on your Mac in 2023 in Minecraft. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.